Ethereum will not work because of the 2 gig memory. We will try prog proof of work though with a lower block number because we've been testing that for um, any algorithm or any uh, coins that choose prog proof of work with a, a smaller DAG file. So let's go ahead and try Ubik. Ubik's DAG is under 2 gig. Oh, we're rocking in a 1.5 mega hash, 10, 20 watts right now, less than 20 watts, 18 watts. Uh, prog proof of work with NVIDIA. And we're going to change this block size that we're targeting. We'll have a much smaller DAG file on a 2 gig card. So we're testing prog proof of work on 750 ti now and i set it to a block number that would create the dag at 1.35 gigabytes so this is equivalent to what with like like ubik moved to prog proof of work what it would do on that 1.1 1.21 mega hash so it looks like we're at about seven we peaked at 7.2 mega hash on ubik on the seven the 970 so ubik to 95 watts on the card and we're at 1.28 mega hash. That is essentially the same exact mega hash that we were getting with the 750 Ti. The 750 Ti took 33 watts for that. I'm doing 6.6. .6. Let's go. All right, so that one's done. I think we're good there. So we're at 26.21 mega hash. Yeah, so 8.8. .8. RVN is one of those things you got to let run for a while to kind of get your average. The hash rate just can change pretty drastically on RVN. 26.96, 26.9, call that 20, 27. Mega hash at same wattage, 161 watts, 128. 13.02, 13.04, prog proof of work. 13.04 at 240, 4.6, or 4.1, 2 GPS, 4.3, uh, we're going to just leave this at 9, 19.28, 47.03, let's just call it 47, 47 mega hash. RVN testings always should be done over a period of time. 21 mega hash. Stable. So we're at 31.6 on ETC with the overclock. Uh, Prog proof of work is actually seeing a pretty nice increase from that. So we were at 13.04 before. We're at 15.46. We're at 260 versus 251 on the power. So grin here we're using 178 so we were using 17 we went up eight watts of power 4.8 gps at 178 so we went up eight watts 4.7 what do mine has their numbers low for grin what's what do mine have for a gtx 1070 it says 1070 says four well bro you know that's what we do here we test and break break the the standards here we're down to 130 watts so this is this kind of gives you some insight of some of the uh, the old benchmark testing I used to do live. We will do this if you guys like doing this to see what's in the realm of possible. But we just shoved the power limit all the way down to 50. We're at a plus 50 core. We're at a plus 700 clock on a GTX 1070 right now, and it is staying stable. You can see the verification here on the TDP being 48%. We're still getting 4.3 and we're down to 106 wattage. We knocked off almost 45 watts off that 1070.